Good morning. My name is Noah, and today we're going to show you how you can heat your water absolutely for free with this product brought to you by Doucette Industries. You see, right now you're paying the electric company to run your air conditioner to take the heat out of your home. Well, what happens with that heat that's being dumped down into your yard from your outside air conditioner? Well, at the same time, you're also paying the electric company to make hot water for your shower, dishwasher, and laundry. Well, don't pay twice. That same heat that's being dispersed by your outside air conditioner can be used to heat most, if not all, of your water. And while you're heating the water, you can cut your air conditioning bill by as much as 15%. We're sh gonna show you today how exactly you can do that. All right, folks, so we are at the uh, residence of uh, Mr. Villaverde, and right now we're doing a test to show the heat recovery working. And what you can see here is an actual train 4-ton XL20i air conditioner. And these systems gain SEER ratings up to 20 SEER. It is a two-compressor air conditioner out here with a variable speed air handler inside and we have actually installed a heat recovery unit into it where as long as the air conditioning is running they are producing hot water now as we get a little closer to the heat recovery here what you see is a very simple device uh, a small pump as you see on the uh, video at the bottom is connected to your water heater so that pump circulates water in and out of the water heater. When your air conditioner or heat pump comes on, water is drawn from the coldest part of the water heater and brought out to this heat exchanger where it is heated by the hot refrigerant from your air conditioner or your heat pump. And therefore the heated water is then returned to your water heater uh, with heat being also a major cause of equipment failure and malfunction this uh, heat recovery or heat exchanger can extend the life of your heating and cooling system because it is removing the heat from your outside air conditioner before your fan and outdoor coils need to do it. So while you're doing something that we primarily do most of the summer and even longer in some areas like uh, Florida, the state that we're in, uh, by running air conditioner, you're actually heating water for free. So folks, right now we're uh, video doing a video of the actual heat recovery working with the air conditioner. Again, this, uh, this heat recovery is uh, done by Doucette Industries. And what we have right now on this train air conditioner is it's early in the morning uh, actually it's almost at the end of the summer it's September 20th 2013 and right now it's 1115 in the morning and the temperatures that you see here on the screen on the left are refrigerant temperatures both here and here now 123 degrees again we have this air conditioner where right now it's only running off of the smaller compressor because Train has two compressors on their system. This particular air conditioner at Mr. Villaverde's house has a two-ton and a four-ton compressor. Now we have the two-ton compressor running, so it's not really running at full throttle or full, or full speed, uh, if you will. And the temperature of the refrigerant leaving the air conditioners in the 120s and the temperature coming back after it's gone through the heat exchangers 105. So normally we would have the hot refrigerant leaving the compressor going through the outside coils of this air conditioner and the heat being dissipated through that fan. So folks, if your air conditioner has a fan, it's definitely there for a reason to remove some of that heat. So what we did basically is take that hot refrigerant and run it through the bottom and into the heat exchanger. So you have your hot refrigerant going at the heat recovery, running through that coil there and coming back. So if you can see the two clamps there, clamped in there, that is reflecting the actual refrigerant temperatures that we see here. 
So you've got 125 degrees leaving the air conditioner and 105 degrees returning back to the air conditioner. So where's the uh, 20 degree difference? Well, it's going into your water. So that heat is actually being used to heat the water that you use for dishwasher, laundry, bathing, showering. And one note that we want to make here is Mr. Villaverde has five occupants in the house. So five people in this house are using this heat recovery to heat all their water because, as we will show you later, his breaker's completely turned off. Again, on a XL20i trained air conditioner with sear efficiencies up to 20 sear and with the heat recovery from Doucette Industries as you can see there the XL20i we can heat water for a total of five people even at the end of September at the end of the summer months and still have plenty of hot water for his family okay folks so what we've done here is we've got the aquifier heat recovery unit from Doucette Industries and we've got our train XL20i air conditioner with the two compressors in there and these train high efficiency air conditioners achieve sear ratings of up to 20 and on this typical four ton air conditioner where we have a two ton compressor and a four ton compressor inside the condensing unit what we've done is we lowered the temperature inside low enough to make the four ton compressor come on and what you see here on the meter is the refrigerant temperature all the way to the right here as it leaves the air conditioner so your hot refrigerant is leaving at about 140 degrees or more and once it goes through the heat exchanger or the heat recovery system here and that heat is being exchanged from your hot refrigerant to your cold water line your refrigerant temperature coming back is at about 116 degrees so you've got a 24 25 degree temperature difference on your refrigerant so on a typical air conditioner let's say we didn't have the heat recovery from Doucette Industries here let's just say we had a typical air conditioner your refrigerant would be going through the coils out here and then the fan will be removing the heat before that refrigerant goes inside to your air handler so on a typical install like this one you have the hot uh, refrigerant leaving the compressor going directly into the heat exchanger or the heat recovery unit and then it's going to be removed through the outdoor coils and fan so on this typical install here, as you can see, the refrigerant temperature is still rising and there's a bigger gap between the refrigerant as it leaves us, the air conditioner and when it comes back here after it's been removed at the heat exchanger. So what we're going to do, and you can see the two clamps out there, what we're going to do with the uh, Doucette Industries aquifier heat recovery is we're not only going to check the temperatures of the pipes out here but we are also going to check the temperature of the cold water coming into the water heater tank and the hot water coming from the heat recovery unit into the water heater tank so we can see what kind of a difference we are achieving okay folks and what we've done here now is if you follow those two lines coming through that chase and into the heat exchanger here where the two clamps are tied into those are water lines going into the water heater so already the water that's being pulled out of the water heater is already somewhat hot but we're going to show you what the water temperature difference is between the water coming into this heat recovery and out of the heat recovery after it's been heated so what you see here are the temperatures of the water. So 104 degrees is the temperature off to the right here, leaving the water heater tank. And 112 degrees, or almost 113, is the temperature of the water after it's been already heated using the hot refrigerant that's leaving this air conditioner. So we're also going to take some 
uh, temperatures inside the house, like we mentioned, on the actual water heater to show you the differences in water temperature there as well. Something else we wanted to point out too is that in Mr. Villaverde's house, as you'll see at the breaker off to the left here, it's completely off. And if we locate the uh, breaker label here, the third one that we just looked at is the water heater. So in his case, he has the water heater right here completely turned off at the breaker. So he is getting five uh, occupants in the home benefiting from free hot water just by doing something most of us do anyway, running your air conditioner. And here at Mr. Villaverde's house we have the water heater tank as you can see here. Uh, the clamp that you see on the bottom is the water that's being returned as hot water from the heat recovery or heat exchanger from Doucette Industries. And over here is the cold water or the water that's leaving the tank going over to the heat exchanger to be heated. Now here we have the temperatures of the water leaving the tank and also returning at the bottom so leaving the tank over here at about 105 degrees from the cold side as you will see here this is tapped to the cold side uh, here which is also being provided the cold supply from your city so leaving the cold side you're at about 105 106 and then returning at the bottom after the water's been heated by your heat exchanger or heat recovery you got 116 degrees so you have a 10 degree increase in your water temperature and these two numbers will stagger so if the number on the left goes up to 110 the number on the right will go up to 120 and so forth so the hotter the water being sent out the hotter it returns on the right now keep in mind it's uh, we're in the morning hour so the AC hasn't been running a lot we're at the tail end of the year, we're at September 20th, 2013, as far as our summer months. Uh, we're about to dwindle down in the summer cooling months, and you're still getting good return as far as hot water temperature. And again, we want to emphasize that it's not if, but when your water temperature here rises, so it will do the same thing on this side as well. Once we get to 115, 120, 125 over on this side, we're going to get to 130, 140 on the, on the right side as well. So this again shows that the heat recovery, even on a high efficiency system on this train XL20i with two compressors and a variable speed air handler, Mr. Villaverde has been able to turn off his water heater with five occupants in the house and using the, the heat recovery to heat all his family's needs for hot water including laundry showering and bathing and dishwasher use so it is a system that will save you money it will also make your air conditioner more energy efficient because it's removing the heat before the actual air conditioner has to do it uh, meaning that for example on an 18 sear system with a heat recovery you can get maybe the performance of a 19, 20, or 21 sear system because you're reducing uh, the heat before the actual outside fan has to do it for you. Okay folks, so now we're going to talk about some of the myths about the heat recovery that uh, some con contractors will tell you, the end uh, customer, why they don't want to hook up the heat recovery unit. One myth is that it would void the warranty. We actually have letters from Train Air Conditioning showing that it does not void the warranty on your air conditioning equipment. So that is a, a myth that's been uh, set around by air conditioning contractors. A second one would be is, would it work on 410 refrigerant, like the new refrigerant being used today? Well, this particular unit on the bottom states that it is compatible with the 410A equipment. Ask your contractor that you speak to about it and then he'll show it to you. We at FL Green Team do install them even on new uh, air conditioning systems using the 410A equipment. Another myth that's said is on higher sear systems they will not work. Well this XL20i by train which achieves sear ratings up to 20 sear and in this case 
we just showed you on the video how we were getting refrigerant temperatures higher than 140 degrees leaving the unit and then coming back about 25 degrees cooler meaning that if there's heat if you basically have a fan running on your outside air conditioner the fan is there for a reason and that's to remove heat so we also proved on a high sear systems that it does work another myth is would it work on a two compressor system this XL20i by train has a two ton compressor and a four ton compressor so it has twin compressors in there and when we did the video here the four ton compressor was running and it does work now we also ran it on a two two ton compressor which is a smaller one and we still got hot refrigerant leaving not as hot as we did on the four ton naturally but it still works and it still produces heat so all those myths we just showed you that uh, this heat recovery system from Doucet Industries will work on any refrigerant any sear rating and any type of air conditioner as long as it's removing heat which all air conditioners do uh, it doesn't matter how big the air conditioner is what tonnage what sear rating it still works and we at FL Green team do believe in the product we do install it we do have expert technicians that have experience installing them and that is why many contractors out there today uh, don't support it because they don't have uh, folks on the field that have enough experience installing them but we at FL Green Team do and we firmly believe in the product and Mr. Villaverde here who has five occupants in his house is getting free hot water by doing something that you and I usually do all summer long and that's running your air conditioner thank you for watching folks if you have any questions you can look at the links at the bottom of the video and contact us with any questions you may have thank you very much